top spot. Cool. Hey, everybody. Um, we're going to listen to a song from Cannabis. I haven't heard of this guy. And uh, it's off the album Rip the Jacker, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Uh, looks like it maybe came out in 2015. I do have some information about Cannabis here. Uh, oh, sorry. It came out on uh, August 2nd, 2011. And that's not correct because that is not this song. Rip versus Poet Laureate. Nope, I have the wrong song, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, but Cannabis, I have not heard of before, so let's read a little bit of information. This was sent in by somebody who sent a payment, um, and the person who sent it was Philinio? Uh, it's P-H-I-L-I-N-I-O. And I'm sorry if I've pronounced your name incorrectly, but thank you for the money and thank you for the suggestion uh cannabis is germaine williams born december 9th 1974 better known by its stage name cannabis he's an american rapper and actor he initially gained fame in the 1990s for his ability to freestyle and eventually released his debut album can i bus in 1998 uh, since releasing his debut album, sorry, I'm trying not to move very much, so if I'm slightly off-center, um, it's because I can't actually see the uh, recording software that I normally use, because I'm working off of a single monitor today, and that's why I didn't upload yesterday, so uh, I'm kind of kludging this together today and doing a little bit of editing on the videos, so it's not a complete mess. Uh, I hope to have a new monitor soon. Uh, since releasing his debut album, Cannabis has gone on to release 13 solo al studio albums in total, as well as multiple collaboration albums and EPs with other rappers as members of The Four Horsemen, Refugee Camp All-Stars, Sharpshooters, Cloak and Daga, and The Under Gods, uh, and one half of Them, T-H-E-M, all uh, an abbreviation. Uh, About.com placed him at number 32 on their list of the top 50 MCs of our time, 1987 to 2007, while in 2012, The Source placed him at number 44 on their list of the top 50 lyricists of all time. Wow. And I have never heard of this guy. I, like, I honestly have never heard of him. Um... Early career, Jermaine Williams was born December 1974 in Kingston, Jamaica. He is of Jamaican descent. His father, Basil Williams, was a Jamaican and West Indian cricketer, uh, cricketer not cricketer. Uh, the family moved frequently, living in the Bronx, Newark, New Jersey, uh, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Miami, Buffalo, and London due to his mother's career requiring constant relocation. Cannabis stated that he was an introverted child growing up. After completing high school in 1992, he spent a year working for AT&T Corporation and another year as a data analyst for the U.S. Department of Justice. His interest in computers and the Internet led him to study computer science at DeKalb, George, DeKalb College in Atlanta. I don't know where George came from. Um, there you go. I That's enough for me. It sounds like he's been around for a while. Ooh, had a feud with Wyclef. Did some acting, apparently. No, no. Wow, yeah, he's got a lot of albums. Uh, well, let's jump in here. This is Poet Laureate off of Rip the Jacker. Uh, and let me also make sure my face is appearing on screen. Oh, I need to move a little bit to my left. Okay, let's go. Uh, seven minutes, 18 seconds. Wow, that's a long one. Uh, I don't understand how a writer would ever get writer's block so cold. My problem is having too much and un being unable to Yo, get why is the ripper so ill? That would be in a partner would be too confidence for me to reveal. He said one of these days all eyes will be on me. When they look up in the sky and see the neon sea. Rhymes described on a nickel disc encased in a glass with an ion beam for longevity for more than 10 centuries and precious and memories. The first time machine inventor will mention me. Cannabis was a visionary indeed. He believed like a travel in multiple... He's got this nailed like he's made for this he's absolutely perfect on his performance with this i mean just stunningly good and you can tell it's that's his strength right is his the, the his rap and his flow and just everything is is just right there so see the organic supercomputer that's all the mystery supply collusion with two blue metric coolers like cool J, but thought steven j cool was cooler and he never liked to propagate rumors smoking every out of cigars like the american luxury cars and beautiful asian bras he had a strong mind he used to philosophize about rhymes while he was pruning 
bring his rhyme size. He claimed that he had written the greatest rhyme of all time, but he would never take it out of his archives. He wrote two songs per day and was constantly experimenting with his wordplay. In his youth, he did a report on the Stone Digital Sky Survey. He got a F, but he deserved an A. I followed his career from the first day. It seemed the lack of support contributed to his inert ways. I seen him. Love that music in the background. Do, 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 do. I mean, that's not what it's exactly doing, but that's effectively what it's doing. And it's uh, it's a pretty cool effect. Uh, yeah, his lyrics are, or his performance is crazy. Put the 24 hour work days with the firm pay, undeterred by the worst shame. Public humiliation was the worst pain. He was spinning out of control like a class five hurricane. He said he wouldn't want another MC to suffer the same, especially when there's nothing to gain. He was the illest alive, but nobody would face it. He spit till his tongue was too torched to taste it. Properly funded corporations carpet dated his latest creations. To extract the information, they found it utterly amazing. They claimed the body of his work was the same thing as a priceless painting. Never mattered to him, the art galleries hated him. Cause Thomas King K called him, said he would take 10 complete enigmas wrapped in puzzles encrypted in language with sound, but without shape or signature. Kept files in his garage on MS DOS in a fireproof pod. We thought it was odd. Outside, there was a shed with an opera high malak. He apparently kept more wax than Madame Tussauds. We were in total awe because it blew our minds. So many rhymes. Yeah, I gotta say, there is something about just classic, super talented lyricist and performer rapper doing what they do best that it just will never go out of style. I mean, and this is the stuff that people talk about it like oh rap was better when it was like this well it's this is never going to go away this is just a level of talent i mean like snow the product is the same thing right she just kicks ass as a as a rapper same thing eminem is a, just an incredible rapper and lyricist and even if he makes poppy music who cares like the talent is undeniable and this guy is the same way and it just i i I've got to listen to more of him because I'm sure he does a bunch of really cool stuff. And this song is, it's very, uh, very regimented. He's, he, there's no experimentation with his voice. He's not doing any crazy vocal stuff. But man, I can't wait to hear that from him. And maybe there's some later. Some of his rhymes low in my room, looking through the 32 X telescope zoom, adjusting the focus of the moon. One should not assume the philosophy of David Hume is nothing more than a subjective conclusion. What is the maximum field rate application? The runaway glaciation surrounding the ocean basin affects the population fluctuation on a continuous basis. But that's just the basics. The juxtaposition of can I bust his position? The precision of something no other has written, way above and beyond what was intended. The unparalleled. Malleable enunciation of a sentence. You didn't go to college, obviously. I can tell why you're a godly, unintelligible terminology, a remarkable odyssey. The rhymes are modest speeds when the brain orders the body not to breathe. Your competency is not up to speed. You're not in my league. You couldn't possibly be hotter than me, or oppositely at minus 25 degrees. You squeeze, but the condensation makes rifle barrels freeze. Allow me to speak figuratively, nigga, please. My intellectual properties about the size of Greece. Your counselor advised you not to speak. My Counselor advised me to keep rhyming till they stop the beat. In the words of Joseph Heller, I learned how to write better, even though it sort of hurt me. He said he didn't understand the process of the imagination, but he felt he was at its mercy, which explains my point perfectly and certainly reinforces the reason why nobody's probably ever heard of me. Couldn't understand what I mean by ill, lest you try to translate what I print the film. This is the line of will, the circle of time, the cycle of eternity, the emergence of one mind. Academic phonetics friend the critics tongue tied the personified try humor come loud of your alumni a wise man sees failure as progress a fool divorces his knowledge and misses the logic and loses his soul in the process obsessed with nonsense the music does not need to change in the background but they change it so that you check back in again and they're doing a great job of it in fact they should probably vary it up a little bit more but man I can't help but just get pulled into his lyrics and just listen line by line by line by line by line because he's using some great different sorts of like he, there's a little bit of alliteration there's a, the similes and metaphors and some wordplay and just all the stuff that you want from a, and it's incredibly well written uh, i mean it's very very well written and uh it's it's really impressive the guy obviously knows this stuff this is so cool
bitch with a caricature that has no content. My style is masterful, multilateral. I can battle the fool and be naturally cool. Words of scorn are a disastrous tool. From my existentialist view, I'm a better rapper than you. Grab the mic and rip the physical fabric in two. My attitude is fucked up and admirable. Different methods interpreted into different forms from entirely different perceptions and seen from different norms. Not just spinning the poem, there's much more involved. There's much more pieces of the puzzle for you to solve. 48 orders of mechanical laws, arrays of creational cause, enhance the cadence of my boss. Maybe I am self-absorbed, but that's the effect of finding the cause. You should ask my A&R. Today is what it is, but only because yesterday was what it was. For minute, you've heard of Beezlebub, a tale of demons and drugs. Pissy drunk in the club, with the DJ doing the needle rub. Chances are you never see me, son. Yeah, I know my name's Cannabis, but I can't help you if you need a dub. I came to holler at some big booty bitches and listen to the speaker stomp. Where you get conceited from? I'm so nice on the mic, they want to beat me up. It's deep as fuck. I ain't seen it all, but I've seen enough. Really unbelievable stuff. There's a lot of times when I want to speak, but I'm stuck. I should lead this rap shit up. Does the music matter? I, I mean, it only matters in that they change it up so that you check back in. Like, that. I swear, that's exactly why it's there. And he just did that little section where the beat basically dropped away to nothing. And you can just hear his voice, and and that would be fine. I mean, it would it would get old, but man, it's so impressive. Alone and kick my incredible rhymes in the prophecy of my own home. My imagination is my own. The liberty to speak freely, lyrically on the microphone. With a pen in my hand, I bring motion to the Enneagram and become can I millennium man. Break my back with the emperor stamp. Not many rappers who who would use Enneagram in a, in a rap. It's been a scientific rap since the 17th century began. Trying to escape the wicked empire of Def Jam. And the land where lyrics are bland and heretics hang. Every warrior has an axe to bury. But he has to learn to discern between enemy and adversary. I said to myself, Jermaine, this is insane. It's suicide. It's control flight into terrain. I fought to regain control of the plane. But when I've been a ball, the flames that got banned from the hip hop hall of fame. For two balls, I kept hammering in my head over and over again. It cost me everything. I'm convinced now that more than the truth is a stake where people create language that pretends to communicate oh back to the original track still his mistakes but it's a byproduct of the ghetto music we make from an extroverted point of view i think it's too nice hip-hop has never been the same since 88 since it became a lucrative profession there's a misconception in the movement in any direction is progression even though the potency of the lessons big money industries writing checks to suppress the question and nobody gives a fuck no more no one goes to the bookstore at the stuff i mean and really it's just the absolute talent of his rapping absolutely incredible so good yeah i'll listen to more by him just because i mean why wouldn't you want to listen to more of him that's incredible really great stuff i want i, I want to hear stuff where he experiments a little bit more it's not just a, just a straightforward flow because I'm sure he, he must do some things that are really remarkable with his voice, and I want to hear it. Uh, Pop Squad. Checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, check the description below because I'll have information on where to enter the number 15,015,000 on another video, different video. There will be a link down below. So go do that, and I'm going to do a little giveaway. I explained it in that video. So... Go do that. And Pop Squat, checking out. They did that already, I think. I'll be back with some more. Bye-bye.